Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV, your home for Buffett News. Today is Friday, March 23rd, 2018. My name is Tyranny, bringing you the news that matters. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. Students, this Saturday, the Buffett lacrosse team will be holding a car wash in the bus loop to raise money for the team. There is a free will donation at the event, and it will go from 9 a.m. to noon. Please let your parents and older siblings know about the great opportunity to get a clean car and support the Buffett lacrosse team. Attention 8th graders attending Northwest High School. The High Steppers Drill Team will be holding an informational meeting for parents and students on April 2nd from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. at Northwest High School. Any students interested must attend this meeting to be eligible to participate. Application packets can be found in the main office. Robotics applications for the 18-19 school year will be available in the office or in room B224 for soon to be 6th through 8th grade students. Applications will need to be completed and turned into the office by Monday, April 16th. That's it for the announcements today, Bobcats. Now let's head over to Mariah and Brigitte for two quick news stories on one of our very own teachers and an exciting performance coming to Omaha. One of the most popular plays on Broadway is the production of Hamilton. On Monday, it was announced by the Omaha Performing Arts that this production is coming to Omaha. The award-winning play will run for 19 days at the Orpheum Theater from September 10th through the 29th. Along with the Broadway phenomenon Hamilton, Aladdin and Come From Away will hit to also to be performed in Omaha. To secure tickets for this renowned production, it is highly recommended that you purchase tickets well in advance. So Bobcats, it's time to form your opinion. What, what's your favorite play that you've been to? March marks the celebration of music in our school's month. Here at Buffett, we have many ways of celebrating music through orchestra, band, chorus, and general music. We caught up with band director Mr. Meyer to explore the celebration of music. For the past three years, our band has been led by Mr. Meyer. We sat down with the band director to discuss music in our month and to learn about his musical journey. My music journey, uh, as I kind of mentioned before, started out like many kids here do in seventh and eighth grade. I just started out playing the drums. Um, and then after a while, you, you start to think, well, what would it be like to play trumpet or saxophone or clarinet or tuba even? You know, So I started picking those instruments up and um, just challenging myself to learn different instruments and kind of keep it fresh and fun and learning new stuff. And then after you do that for a while, you get to college, you can play a few several instruments. You kind of tend to be end up you know being an all-around musician and realize that there's a market for education and for performance so kind of ended up going down the journey of band after teaching band for so long it's only natural to have a few favorite memories then it goes back to tempo one my favorite memories probably tend to just off the top of my head be the big performances like such as all city and some of the honor bands that we've attended um, we performed at the Holland Arts Center here the last few years for All City, just pretty awesome place to perform considering the national and um, international acts that have played there and some of the great musicians. It's a really neat hall, but also just our performances at Buffett, um, the scale and scope of what we put on here for our concerts. Pretty team. When we sat down, Mr. Meyer gave us his definition of what music is to him. Music is, as you may know, like think of yourself when you want to relax or you want to get away or just collect your thoughts or maybe you're having a, an, a, a bad day or something. Music is soothing and comforting and fun. And then I think what musicians do is they take it to that next level and imagine and want to start reproducing that music or create that music or sometimes just create something that they haven't heard before. For BBTV News, this has been Ariana reporting.
Hey Bobcats, this is your sports anchor John getting you caught up with all the big things happening in the world of sports. Since it's Friday, let's focus on some games happening this weekend that we think you should check out. Since we are in the middle of March Madness, all of today's recommendations will be from this tournament. Our first game is taking place here in Omaha when the Kansas Jayhawks are taking on Clemson tonight at 7 o'clock. This game will air live on CBS. Another game you should check out is the where the Duke Blue Devil take on the Orange Syracuse also in Omaha at 9.40 tonight. This game will also be on CBS after the Jayhawks. Those are the big games for the weekend. Now over to the entertainment corner. Three. <coughs> Good afternoon, Bobcats. This is Jada bringing you coverage of everything important to you in your free time. Welcome to the entertainment corner. Now today we're trying a new segment called the 60 Second Entertainment Rundown. This is where we will talk about all the big entertainment stories in exactly one minute. Time starts now. For gamers, Fortnite comes out on mobile as the company created an iOS version last Monday. Love, Simon does very well at the box office while bringing progress to the LGBT community. God's Plan by Drake has been number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for the past eight weeks. Black Panther had, stays at the top of the box office beating out The Last Jedi in Tomb Raider. American Idol judge Katy Perry strikes controversy after unexpectedly, unexpectedly kissing contestant without his consent. Drake and pro gamer Tyler Ninja set a record on Twitch with 600,000 people watching them play. Later, NFL player Juju Smith-Schuster and rapper Travis Scott joined the game. Lin-Manuel Miranda and Ben Platt are featured on a new song called Found Tonight that benefits the March for Our Lives. That's it for our, your one minute entertainment breakdown. Now over to Twitter to see what our teachers are tweeting about. It looks like the wheel has landed on head to Epley. This means that we'll be checking out a place that Bobcats might visit someday. For today's segment, we are heading to the U.S. Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. Many of you might remember that on Mr. C.K.'s special message on Monday, he talked about an alternate way that people have been present protesting gun laws. One of his examples was the silent protest at the Capitol Building. On March 13th, thousands of parents placed 7,000 children's shoes on the lawn of the Capitol building to make a statement to have the gun reform bill to be passed. The 7,000 shoes represent the number of children who have died by gun violence since the new town shooting in 2012. That's it for the Daily Feature. Now let's head back to the main desk to wrap up today's show. That's going to do it for our broadcast today, Bobcats. For more info on many of the stories you've heard and to see what we're working on for future episodes, be sure to follow our Twitter page at BuffettBBTV. Signing off, this has been Tyranny. Have a terrific day, Bobcats. Mm -hmm.